my name is Jumai. Welcome to my Sunday Love series. My topic today is perseverance. Uh, but before I go into today's topic, please join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I can't stress enough how important it is to say the Lord's Prayer. Um, it has gotten me through so many things in life. And in truth, when um, the disciples asked Jesus how to pray to God, he said to them, you know, say the Lord's Prayer. So even if that's, you know, all you can say every single day and even at night, you know, try to say the Lord's Prayer. But going to today's topic, um, like I said, I want to talk about perseverance today. And I feel like it's very, very important to talk about perseverance because perseverance is something that every child of God, every believer, every Christian needs to, you know, not only have, but also master and practice the act of. It's not something that just happens overnight. It's not something that, you know, we are born in, born with or just innate and in us. It's something that, you know, we have to continually, you know, work on. There are different things that, you know, winds different people up in different ways. But, you know, the most important thing to have and to hold on to is perseverance because it gets us through everything that God wants us to get through in life. And um, in reading and, you know, finding out more about perseverance and different characters and people in the Bible and what they went through and how they got through it, I, you know, realized that perseverance is also endurance and um, it's an act, you know, an act or action of you know, being patient, um, patient in many, many different ways. It's a form of, you know, persistent, persistent patience. So being patient, not just once, not just twice, but practicing, you know, living your life that way. And it's not something that's very easy. Like I said, it doesn't come to us naturally. We, you know, we have different things that make us upset, make us angry, make us feel sad or make us feel disappointed or let down. And, you know, it's, 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 it's easy to just, you know, give up and just let go of everything. If we are not, you know, patient enough to just let God guide us and have his way and also have his say in our lives. I feel like, um, in finding out about how to um, be patient and how to um, go through life without feeling too too let down by by God or by man or by you know anything or anyone around you, it's very important to understand that faith is is a very key key aspect of being able to get through everything using you know perseverance. And I I looked up. Um, different meanings of faith and an analogy that I found that was really interesting was you know faith being compared to you know the anchor on a ship it says um, faith what an anchor is to a ship is what faith is to our soul so um, uh, faith is basically that anchor that thing that keeps our soul our souls afloat it's what you know keeps us you know on that straight path no matter what it is we're going through no matter what it is you're hit with whether you know you might sway left or right like a ship might do but when you have that faith and you know that persistent patience with god you always be fine you always sail through you always sail through life no matter what happens to you no matter what is thrown your way some really good examples from the bible is the story of sarah who was looking up to God for children. She prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. And this was not something that was like for, you know, five or 10. It was for many, 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 many years. If you go back to the Bible, you know, and look back, people then lived way longer than we live now. They lived for hundreds and hundreds of years. So imagine that kind of, pain and suffering she would have had to you know go through a lot of stuff and she had to endure it she had to be patient you know she had to just you know give her everything to god and lay literally she literally went to the temple and laid down her soul her life in front of god and you know cried out to him and eventually god gave her what she was asking for but she didn't forget god once he you know he blessed her she promised her child back to God Samuel she promised Samuel to God and you know when we remember God and we remember to practice 
you know, patience and endurance through whatever it is we're going through, God will always, always surely have our back and he'll always be there for us no matter what it is we're going through. Please join me in saying the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with each and every one of us now and forevermore. Amen. Remember to subscribe to me on my YouTube channel. And I'll see you same time next week on my Sunday Love. Bye.